all new knockout event is here. An event where you only have three lives to survive. There are four floors. The higher the floor you go, the higher the competition gets, and the higher the level multiplier is. Every loss, you lose a life and get knocked down a floor, and every win, you move up a floor. Every player will start at floor number one and work their way to the top floor to unlock unlimited levels. I will be playing with randoms only in this event, and I will have just a couple hours to reach the top floor and streak on that top floor to unlock unlimited levels and exclusive prizes. Like and subscribe, and let's see how it goes. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H back at it with yet another banger and today we're going to be playing the knockout event in nba 2k23 now usually these event videos i post every event's like four hours long but these events were two hour intervals throughout the entire week i think there was up to like 10 of these events now i didn't even find out about the event until there was like one or two left so i ended up playing the last like one and a half two and a half events and you're gonna see how many levels we actually end up going up in this event and how we end up winning the event and how we end up unlocking these exclusive prizes while playing with randoms now in this video i'm going to be showing me finding the event me trying to figure out how to play the event because i didn't even know what it was and then of course be playing a full round of the event which is a two hour sequence now make sure you're subscribed to the channel because over 80 percent of y'all are that be watching my videos are not even subs so hit that sub button drop a like of the video and let's go ahead and get straight into the gameplay so as you can see i load up my six foot nine point guard build now usually you guys see me on my six seven but my six nine is like my carrying randoms build because it can rebound dribble defend it can really do everything shoot all that good stuff so it has like an all-around build but anyways you see we load up the park we get into the park we race to the event center and look at the tko event aka the knockout event is on and there's 49 minutes left so i'm looking i'm trying to figure out how the event works you see that it says you have three knockdowns basically three lives until you're eliminated from the event and i'm like yo this could be a fire event and i'm seeing that there's two hour intervals of these events and they've been happening all weekend long and i didn't even know it was going on until sunday so i was like okay let's walk in and let's you know we're not gonna probably win this event um this round but let's like finish these last 49 minutes in this uh, first event that i see and just play it out and just see how the event works so i walk in of course with randoms i'm trying to see how it works see how it plays out you know get a feel for the event because three lives like getting eliminated from an event that sounds fire like i don't think there's ever been an event in 2k history where you could actually get eliminated like completely like not even playing it due to like losses or whatever anyways so you see our first teammate is a bronze tier high level so not too bad you see i'm only level 11 keep an eye on that i am level 11 to start this video and then we got a guy who's actually won the event he's level 40 but he i'm pretty sure he was a low tier as well but anyways we get into the first game now like i said at the beginning of the video there's multiple floors so we're on floor one right now matching up against other floor one players so this should be a relatively easy game but we're playing some good players both six nine guards that shoot 57 percent from three that's pretty solid and then of course they have a six eight who's not as good but they got some two good teammates you know so i'm hoping for the best now i'm playing with random Boy. so i'm trying to play my role but look at those my the, my teammate like he reaches out of the play for no reason i don't know what he was doing right there this guy's setting me huh? screens and then he shoots that i don't know what that was i get the rebound pass it out my teammate doesn't shoot that and i'm really confused what's going on i'm wide open right here he passes Bruh. to him he's wide open he passes up the open shot and i'm like yo i just see a score here three seconds left spin back oh my god i'm shooting over those that's green contested green that's a big shot right there we get a stop i get the real i throw it down immediately we get the dunk and i'm just trying to play a role you know if i need a pass to an open guy i'm gonna trust my teammate if i need to score the ball i'm gonna do it if i need to space the floor i'm gonna do it but look at this dude chucks down court i was like why is he doing that ends up getting an open layup so i'm fine with it you know if we score as long as we win i don't care we get another stop i'm taking the two instead of passing out i want my guaranteed points because once again this is the first time i ever play with these guys i don't know how good or bad they are we get a block right here and right now we're up eight points i mean we're going crazy they're fouling me they're getting frustrated because they probably thinking they should be winning this game even though we're up 16 to 6 and we're cooking we throw it down court to end this game i don't know why he took so long to shoot it but he makes it so it doesn't matter and we win our first game out here so i'm like okay so as you can see after the game it says that we're moving on to floor number two which gives double rep instead of single and we still have all three lives left 
So as you can see, I'm level 11, 72% to level 2. And right here, I was stuck on this screen for minutes. I don't know if one of my teammates dashboarded or got air coded. Then it threw me into this event center, like, and I'm able to walk around like it's a park. It was just so glitched out. What would be the event video on this channel if the event didn't bug out or just not work, right? So I quit out go to the main menus and i have to restart all over again i load up my build get into the park right we walk into the event and we're finally back in right so we're walking in we're gonna as you can see on the billboard there's 30 minutes 38 minutes left so we have 38 minutes left and we're back to square one which is floor one i'm walking in with randoms again so i'm like okay let's try it again good thing i'm not you know we're gonna be showing me doing a full two hour event of this later in the video so i'm just showing you guys exactly how it works with this first gameplay and my first initial like reactions and teammates so i can see right here we get matched up with a casual tier and a silver tier so you know not horrible we're probably not gonna get too lucky with teammates so we get into this game and you know i was letting these dudes cook i was passing out you see I'm letting them hit their shots. I'm getting rebounds. I'm putting up points. I didn't really have a lot of points with these guys, but I was cooking with them. And we ended up getting all the way to 4-4. Four, four. I mean, I don't think these teammates actually ever, like, realized how good I was because they weren't really, like, letting me bring up the ball. We were kind of just, like, passing to the open guy. Kind of just playing really like team basketball but i was never bringing up the ball regardless even if i was point guard so i was just playing a lot of defense i was always the leading rebounder on our team and i would score every once in a while you know probably getting like six to seven points a game which is obviously a lot lower than i usually do usually i average like 17 points a game but yeah we got all the way to floor four as you can see we were repping up we were getting dunks threes all that stuff look at four three we're getting three times right we got the floor four getting four times right without losing we were repping up you see i had level 13 we had no losses you know we were vibing out here okay and then we get into the event with three seconds left and we got all the way to floor four but we didn't get the streak on floor four to get that quadruple rep in that unlimited level so the event ended so i ended up waiting for the next event to start and as you can see in the top right hand corner the event has officially started and this is the one i'm going to show you there's a lot of good gameplay in this event right here so we got two hours you see everybody's rushing to get to the uh elevators i end up walking in with randoms and we're to see what our first team is in this two-hour event and as you can see we're, we got a casual tier center who seems like he's seven three and a bronze tier guard so not looking too good uh, if you guys know anything about the tiers basically it just tells you how good or bad or how much a player wins or loses on that particular build look at i'm playing a level 40 goat tier like first game floor one so i'm like oh my god this is gonna be tough so they pass the ball to him i'm just spacing the floor you know i'm not gonna complain i'm just gonna do as best as i can with my teammates you see they both take heavilies um huh? right here he throws a turnover instead of hitting me right there so it's, we're off to a really bad start. I try to pick up his man. His guy's wide up in the corner. That dude shot a horrible shot. He gets the rebound, throws it down instead of just hitting the point guard who's wide open, and they throw another turnover. So it's like, okay, am I even going to touch the ball this game? Like, what's going on? This dude shoots a corner three. He misses. I don't get the rebound. They throw it up to the center. He finally hands it off to me, and right here, I could have just shot being irritated with how my teammates were playing, but no, I get the easy assist. He gets the dunk, so we're up two to zero. I don't know where their third was at, and we end up giving an open look somehow. They get the offense around. They actually score. I mean, it was a two on three, and we let him score, so that's bad. Uh, finally, they give me the ball on the inbound. So I'm like, okay, I got to build trust with my teammates, you know? So I can't just ball hog. I have to, like, pass to the open guy when they're open, try to get a bucket or two. I ended up dumping it off to the center. He gets an and one. I mean, he's 7'3", so he's going to be making a lot of those close shots with ease. Right here, they're isoing the 7'3", of course. It was kind of a disadvantage for us. And he Jordan dunks it over them. I'm like, yo, what is Brody cooking? Like, he just dunked on Olden. There's three seconds left. They really have nothing to work with, and somehow we still score. I don't even know how we're scoring. I'm not really involved in the offense. They haven't really been giving me the ball at all. But, hey, we're scoring six to four. We get another stop right here. I'm kind of just trying to space the floor. He's walking the ball up the court, taking a while to get there. He's hop-stepping like it's 2K20. They give it to the center again, and he just forces it, and he gets it. I mean, he just got a contact standing dunk. I'm like, yo. Like, I feel like we're getting lucky. We get up, give up an open three right there. The only up one. I feel like we're getting a little lucky, but then again, whatever. The guard is setting me screens. I don't know why, but I get an open three. So we make that 11 to seven. We need to get a stop. And look at the center gets an inbound steal. I get the ball right here. I'm like, yo, I'm fading this. I'm getting another three. And bang, that's green. Come on now. 14 to seven. I got takeover. Another steal for the center. I don't even think he clicked a button, but he gets a steal. Goes over the layup. 
and he scores you know i was open but it doesn't matter as long as he score i don't care 16 to 10 after they hit another three right here i have takeover so i'm trying to cook up i'm trying to show this team that i can cook but i missed the fading three it's like my first you know because the first sequence i played in this event i didn't really get the ball too much i wasn't shooting a lot so you know i gotta warm up you know i gotta get my fades down i gotta get my times down you see i'm getting double team i dump it off to the center getting an easy assist 18 to 12 we're back on defense no threes they got nothing we're playing pretty good defense even though like i feel like our defense wasn't that good but the other team you know just wasn't aware of like who was open at certain times they get another post rising dunk 18 to 14 i'm trying to close out this game right I'm not getting the ball here. He has an open three instead of just passing to the uh, open center. I didn't like that shot. Like, I know he was open, but it's like, just take the easy two. Just hit this center. He didn't do that. So that's 18 of 14. We get the ball again. They foul. That was a good foul right there. I got takeover. I got the ball. I'm trying to end it or at least just score. I want to get the win. We're going to the corner, fading three, and I miss. I'm like, yo, I don't have my fade timing on right now. Like, that's my bad. And look at my teammate flopping. Like, why are you flopping? I, I, I was cooking up old game. I missed two shots, and now this dude's flopping. Like, chill, bro. He acted like he doing any better, but that's how randoms are, bro. They just always think the the their teammates are bad and they're good or whatever. And over, I'm over here trusting my teammates. Like my center's playing pretty good. I've been dumping down to him old game. But that guy was hating on me. Anyways, we get an open look right here. Easy three. And I greened that one. So I went, what, three for five from three? Like, that's not bad, right? We win our first game, moving on to two times XP. And we are on a one game win streak. So I'm like, okay, let's get it. We're moving on to floor two. And then that guard backed out. I don't know why he backed out. Like, he was probably playing the worst out of the three of us. Like, so he backed out. I guess he didn't want to play with this anymore. So I have to start over again. And I walk in with randoms. And this is the team I get now. They're both casual tiers, both high levels. And every time I get into randoms, you know, I try not to, you know, obviously I'm going to look at the tiers to see like if I got some good teammates or some bad teammates, but I still trust them in game because you got to. Okay. So first level, we're on floor one again. We got to get to floor two, right? So we got to win this game. Let's try to get to floor four with this team and then try to streak up. So off the bat, I'm trying to pass. I'm trying to get gain trust with my teammates. You know, I don't want to come off as a ball hog. I'm trying to pass them and stuff. Hit the open man right here. He shoots the open three very early. He timed it horribly, but I get the rebound and I go with the lamp. And that's why I'm on this 6-9 build because I could do everything. I could rebound. I could literally do everything. There's nothing this build can't do. We give up a fading three, kind of bad defense by the ball, dude, but it's okay. You know? It's the first game. We got to develop some chemistry. He's setting screens. Y'all know I don't like screens, but then he walks away, which is fine. We have the open three. I don't know why that dude was sagging off of me, but that's green. Okay. Five to three. It's time to carry these guys. Time to see what kind of teammates we got. I'm in the paint. I'm guard playing good defense, and he still makes that. I don't know how he made that. Five to five. I got the ball again. I see my teammate going down court. Easy dunk. I'm going to take our twos. I'm going to take our points. I'm going to take the easy assist because he's open, obviously. I got to be a good teammate. Okay. We're playing defense right there. Step back three. There's no way he's making that i i would thought that my teammate would get the board guess not i probably should have crashed crashed as well and somehow he makes another yellow layup so it's seven to seven it feels like we should be winning by a lot more i thought my teammate was gonna run down he didn't run down i still gave him the ball he's trying to cook up something here uh ends up passing out to the other teammate he's setting a screen for him i get the ball back 10 seconds on the shot clock eight seconds seven seconds i activate takeover i had so many open shots right here end up fading this pretty bad shot the corner was open probably should have passed it he ends up not knowing that the rebound's right there so he didn't get it saves it it's seven to seven one on three fast break they pass it up late i don't know what's going on here like i had so many open shots that possession i didn't score and then i get that block so i make up for it get the rebound i didn't want to throw it right there because that guy was in the lane end up dotting the corner instead of taking the dunk and he misses that i'm like yo next time i gotta just take the two gotta take our points it's literally a tie game and they have the ball it feels like we should be winning by a lot but we're not he takes that midi times it horribly i get another rebound right here you're gonna be seeing that i be like leading my team in rebounds a lot right here and then i get blitz so that's on me that was just good defense i'm not gonna lie that was just good defense that was a good blitz seven to seven i'm guarding two i end up helping he misses again i get the rebound again right here then they foul me as soon as i was about to pass it up court seven to seven still it's been seven for seven forever i end up just taking the two I'm like yo we just need to get some points on the board like we've gone too many empty possessions in a row nine to seven look at the help defense and i force another stop my defense is going crazy right here spin back I'm going to the three-point line, trying to get a three, end up getting in his way, but it doesn't matter. I'm open for three, and that is green, and we're up by five points right now. And look at 
they're wide open like i don't know what our defense was this dude jumps at him he shoots an early wide open bad defense but bad offense i pull up for three front fade green okay when you shoot see me shooting those front fades that's how you know i'm locked in now this guy gets the iso right here ball dude right here um we're gonna watch him cook right here five seconds i don't know what he was doing here i mean we gave him a, we gave him an iso play that's what he did with it 17 to 9 we get a stop now right here we're at 4 1. i could have took the dunk but no i want to get my teammates warmed up so i pass that three he greens it i need to get my teammates going like i want them to have their shots warmed up get ready for the next round or whatever you see i shoot a deep three right there and now we're moving on to floor two i feel like my teammates can hit their open shots maybe i'm kind of worried about the ball dude's defense but it's okay you know we're good i'm also worried about our rebounding as well going into floor number two and now we're getting matched up with four two teams they got a six one guard they have like two centers as well so i don't even know how they won floor one with this lineup we end up getting uh, a good contest the first play but he gets that lamp i don't know how i'm not getting a contest jumping at him right there but anyways he gets that i'm walking back open three bang come on now we starting off with a three that's how i like to start these games three to two we're playing good defense and i don't know i don't know why guards go into this event or any event even wreck and set screens like if you want to set screens make a center so that dude's setting a legal screen i'm sure the other team was mad irritated and look at ball dude walking back that was actually a really good shot he missed it but i'm fine with that shot like that's a good shot we step back right here with takeover green six to two i already got takeover because i'm playing good defense getting a good shot contest and i hit a three earlier we're playing good defense as well this team is not that good not up to par i get to catch a shoot three right here green again i'm not missing right now i'm cooking up nine to two we're getting back on defense give give him that block i see my teammate with a defense good stuff right there we're spinning back trying to get something to work uh and they foul again but it's okay right there i don't know why he passes to the other guy like he wasn't even moving so it causes a turnover but he gets it right back and gets the dunk so now we're up 11 to 2 this is looking like a blowout on floor number two right here i dot my teammate he greens that right there so now we're getting the other teammate going as well with the shots it seems like we're all hitting our shots i get a steal right there ball dude picks it up he hits me open three stop pop that he's green we're up 20 to 2 they got a cold teammate it's looking bad right now and I ended up just shooting over that the kid's head. The other guy had to take over. I could have hit him. But, you know what I'm saying? We, we had a green arm for the one time, okay? Now we're moving on to floor three. We're going to get three times rep on floor three. So it's looking good. We're moving on to floor three. This is the first time I've gotten to floor three in this event. And look at we're playing a floor three team as well they got some good high levels they got some good three point percentages this guy rim runs on me in the start and it already seems like me and this pink helmet guy are kind of just kind of go back and forth i could already tell that we were gonna go back and forth so i started to take my twos to start the game you know i like to get a three to start the possession but he wasn't giving it to me so i take my twos we're playing good defense right here i know he wants a two so i'm trying to expect that on defense and look at it. it's obvious he wants it too i'm here i'm playing good defense back door and somehow he gets he goes up with that so i throw it down immediately he passes out the ball dude who almost shot that shot i mean that would have been crazy two to two i want to get a bucket after that stop probably should have shot that three didn't expect to get that open but we got points so it's okay we'll take our points anytime we can get it he's isoing again look at i got that box he is literally box he's posting me up like how down bad are you that iso is box we don't get the rebound again though like i said in the after the last game i'm worried about our rebounding because i'm by far our best rebounder and i'm not the point guard position somehow we give up open three we give up the rebound though i'm trying to get back but are my other teammate drops for whatever reason and we give up a three so now we're losing i mean it feels like we should be destroying this team or at least up by a possession or two and we are down one i end up going for another two and he gets a great contest animation pulls me out of my quick drop animation and now i'm like yo this is looking bad we need to stop cannot give up a three right there we give up a back door dude's wide in the corner i'm like yo what are my teammates doing just dropping every play and that dude's like running out of bounds it's okay though he missed but look at me selling i'm selling on offense another bad ticket and they're throwing self lobs oh nah oh nah they're getting disrespectful with it seven to four i take my easy two i'm like yo we gotta trust our defense and i gotta score every possession if we want to win this game they get a euro step dunk that was pretty nice right there nine to six we gotta start getting stops here and boy do i just need to just get my points so right here i just take another two i'm trying to get to that takeover because i know if i get takeover i'm obviously going to take over the game i can give him my threes but look at our defense 
This dude's just running right by him in the corner. Like, it, it, it's getting bad. Spin back. I should have shot that three. I don't know what I was doing. Pass to the teammate. I'm going to go ahead, space the floor for him, get in the corner, and look at wide open. Good pass by him. And you already know I'm not missing that catch and shoot corner three. 11 to 11. We need a stop. But look at just gets blowed by it again. That wasn't really his fault. Clamp breaker animation activated. So we're down two. I'm activating takeover. I should have shot that. I mean, looking back at this gameplay, I'd be having so many open shots, and I'm just not shooting. Look at two open shots right there. But I score, so it's okay. 13 to 13. We're good. Look at the ball, dude. He's not even moving. Like, what is he doing? He's not even moving on defense. Like, I was so confused. What is he doing during this game? Like, who enters these events just to not play? Like, if you're busy, then don't play. But look at me. Fading three. That was clutch. That gives us a one-point lead. We need to stop. We end up getting this stop. And I'm like, yo, I just need to score. Our team needs to score. However we score, it does not matter. We need to get points on the board business possession. I'm kind of boxer here. Don't really have any energy. So I'm going to hit smooth over here. He's in the left corner. I just didn't want to throw a turnover because he was kind of just sitting in the corner. He passes back to me. I'm trying to get this pick and pop with him going. He ends up getting a mid range and drains it. What a clutch shot by smooth right there. We needed that 18 to 15. And look at the ball, dude. I think he was about to run out of bounds again, but he gets a steal, throws a flashy. I'm like, yo. What is going on right now? 15 to 18. Eddie Bucket is fine right here. End up just taking the two. Save two. We're up five points. And if we win this game, we move on to floor number four, which is the highest floor. We get a stop. One more bucket. Bald head's going crazy. He gets fouled. Spin back. Open three. Get off the court. And we were moving on to the top four. You see me repping up again with the a level 14 animation we going crazy make sure to subscribe to the channel going to the highest floor with these randoms i'm like yo let's get it we just gotta get a win on this floor now you see there's about an hour 26 in the event and look at there was like no one on the floor floor we must have been like the first team over there because we were waiting for a game for a while but we get matched up with another floor four team they get a dunk off rib i'm like okay we need better defense than that like that's way too easy bringing up the ball right here we're down two to zero i like to start threes to start the game but i see the open dunk i'm gonna take it every point matters here because i'm i don't really trust our defense and for good reason i mean that dude's just standing wide open we're lucky that some of these teams be missing open shots he brings it down the court smooth has got it right here i'm i kind of want the ball right here to be safe and i hold my breath at that shot he made it he made it okay we'll take the mini because that dude's been shooting a lot of earlies but he made that shot so we're chilling four to four they get another dunk right there i don't know how he even made that dunk like i thought we played good defense on that it is what it is i'm trying to get a three but i have the two so i take the two six to four we're up two i need a stop right here and look at the good defense by my teammates right there we got the rebound going on the fast break and of course they foul like every time we get on a fast break the other team is fouling it's smart but it's also kind of irritating i get the ball right here pass it out to smooth i saw an opening but he ended up getting a good closeout. And look at that. Light. Like, what is going on? <laughs> that dude is getting some crazy animations. He's throwing, like, flashy passes. He's getting, like, crazy animations. Look at I get in the lane. We're going for the open dunk. And that gives us a six-point lead after that good defensive stop from me. And now I'm feeling confident. Like, I hear the other dude in game chat who's complaining at his teammates. But I give up an open three. That's on me right there. 10-7. to seven. We're isoing again. Oh my God. I mean, we need this win. I get the open three. I'm shooting it green. But thank God I made that shot. 13 to seven, a six point lead. It's looking good. The right corner's open. Everyone's open. I mean, I don't know what our defense was on that possession, but literally every player was open right here. Probably should have took that too, but I need a three. Okay. I need a three and I'm cooking up for a three. When I got to take over, I can really just get unlimited threes most of the time. 16 to 10. Good defense again. I go ahead, get the loose ball. We're on the fast break, and I take the easy two. Could have passed it up. I don't know why I didn't pass it up, but we'll take it anyways. 18 to 12. I got takeover. We can end the game with a three right here. I get the bad spin back animation. You see the dude in the right corner talking crazy in game chat. Ball dude comes up. I don't, I don't need a screen, buddy. We got that fading three from half court, and just like that. We're wrapping up again because we are on the fourth floor getting four times rep. Basically unlimited rep. We're going to be moving up levels like crazy if we streak up in here. So you see we're on floor four. And as long as we don't lose, we can stay on floor four. So now it was time to streak up on floor four without an hour and 20 left. Now you see we're playing a goat tier team. It also took us a while to get a game because once again, we're only playing against other floor four teams. Now this team was good. They had a goat tier. They had a gold tier. They had a silver tier. Like... I was kind of worried about this. I was like, okay, we gotta lock in. Gotta get this win. Start off the game, getting an easy dunk. 
I'm hoping we can streak up out here. You see it's 9 and 9. I get a clutch stop right there. My defense on this 6-9 build was coming up mad clutch in these games. You see Smooth gets the easy dunk, gives us a two-point lead. We're up by two right here, 13-11. I dot ball, dude, and he greets it right there. This is why I made sure that they were touching the ball on the open shots earlier on in these levels to make sure their jumpers were warm. Look at me, fading three-pointer, 19-13, almost basically a dagger right there. 13 and 9. I dot smooth open three. That is green. Oh my god. For casual tier teammates, I feel like we're doing a pretty good job out here. And that brings us to a five game win streak. Another game on level or the highest floor, whatever. An hour and 10 left in the event. We gotta keep streaking up on this floor, okay? We're playing another solid team right here. They got six, eight, seven, six, eight, a six eleven Hall of Fame tier, um, GOAT tier uh player. Right here, he inbounces to the other guy. Five seconds, four seconds, gets blocked. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I was doing a good job of facilitating the offense, but look at what happens when they don't let me facilitate. It's like we can't even get a bucket right here. I absolutely cooked that, dude. I mean, where was he going? I don't know. Six or 12 to six right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. I get the bad fate animation. No way I agree that, right? I agree that. I know every animation in this game, my teammates are flopping. They're like, how is this dude greeting those shots? Oh my God. 20 to 10 game point. I'm getting that air one. Get off me. Come on, man. We leveling up again right there, as you can see. Because once again, we're on the top floor. We getting four times rep like it's Puma Mania or something. An hour left of the event. So we're halfway through, right? Halfway through the event. We're playing a level 40, playing a gold tier. We're playing a pretty solid team right here. Two gold tiers as well. And right here to start the game. I mean, y'all saw a ball dude a couple of possessions just walk out of bounds. And it's like, where is this dude? Why do people enter events or rec centers or whatever the case, matchmaking, just to not play? And then he leaves his guy wide open who greens a three. And right when he made that shot, I knew we were going to lose. Like, I had a feeling we're losing. Like, after he left him open right there, got a 21st guy. I was like, yep, we're going to lose. I could have took that easy two right there, but it's okay. We get up getting a three good pass by my teammate right there. So it's three to three and just watch ball do this whole game. Like he reaches right there. He's completely out of the possession, forces smooth to switch, then just doesn't guard him, runs out of bounds again. It's like, it's like, who's on the controller? Did he give his like five-year-old brother the control? Look at, he's running in circles right now. Literally just ran in a complete circle mid possession. I was so confused what was going on four seconds of this possession i somehow get left wide open another three i don't even know how it's a one point game we should not have a single point look at ball dude he just ran in another circle i think he just did it again left his guy wide open thank god he missed where is ball dude he's at like half court and then i leave my guy open right here that's on me but he misses again look at ball dude he doesn't even go for the rebound it's like what is going on? I try to drop for a board, end up leaving my guy open. Look at, we're down 12 to eight. Where is ball dude? Where is he? I don't know. He, he comes back mid possession, then runs out of bounds again. It's just like, how are we supposed to win this game? How are me and Smooth supposed to win this game? If our teammates just running out of bounds half the time. I took another two right here, 14 to 10. I don't even know how it's this close. Look at ball dude, just running out of bounds. Just running out of bounds continuously. Did he have his controller on like a rubber band or something? I don't know. Uh, we end up giving another bucket right there, 16 to 10. It's a two on three, 24 seven on defense, okay? I try to get an open three right here. I end up getting it and I make it right there, 16 to 13. We're only down three, I don't know how. Of course they're giving it to this dude's guy every time. He somehow misses another open three, thank God. I mean, we needed that so bad. Now right here, I really should have shot a three right here. Could have shot that, could have shot that too, should have shot that, but I still get the points. 16 to 15, we're down one, 18 to 15 to score. Now he's setting me screens. He hasn't done that before, whatever. Open fade three, and I hit it. 18 to 18. I mean, it's a tie game, y'all, and we haven't gotten a single stop, and our teammates running out of bounds. Look at our teammates running out of bounds again, and we're guarding three people. Look at him. He's literally in the freaking rafters. Like, what is he doing, bro? He's in the stands. Four seconds right here. I finally get the ball. Three seconds left. I kind of just have to chuck that up. There was one second left. End up missing because it was contested. 20 to 18. And we ended up losing the game. And right after we lost, I was just, uh, I messaged him. I was like, why are you running out of bounds? Like half the game. He never messaged me back. But that was just so irritating. Like that's how we lose. And we barely lost too. Now I end up walking to the event again because we have to start all over. And look at the teammates I get. Two goat tier level 40s. 
I mean, let's get it. So we're back down to floor number one with that loss. We did lose one life, but we still have two lives left. So to start this with the level 40s, I was like, okay, the, he he's not passing me on the inbound, but I'm going to let them cook. Like, I'm going to be a good teammate. I'm going to space the floor. He ends up hitting me right here with 10 seconds left, and I knew I needed to prove myself with these guys, you know? So I hit the open man, make the right decision. He misses, but it's okay. We made the right play. Once again, they're not, they don't trust me. These guys don't trust me. So they're in, they're inbounding it to the other guard. He ends up getting a two. That's fine. But I want to eventually carry these guys. He gets a steal. I get an open three. I have to hit this. It's like the first shot in the wreck. You got to hit it. So I end up hitting it. So we're up five to four. And look at, I get the ball in the inbound now. So I'm like, okay, now that they're giving me the chance to bring up the ball, I got to prove myself to these guys this game so I can tr get trust from them so I can play point guard for this a series to get to four number four so i get a dunk i'm making this dude jump get an open three absolutely cooked it right there get a three now we're up 10 to four and they're trusting me they're giving me the ball every play i gotta take over fade away three on the right side oh my god i'm cooking i got the open corner green i mean i'm making all the right decisions right now point guard another dot green look at me cook they're giving me the space and I'm giving them the dots and I'm giving them the grains. Okay. We're moving on to floor number two with this team. So I'm like, okay, road to back to floor number four. We got this. Simple. We're playing a floor two team right here. They have a level 40. They have a 6 1 guard. They have a comp stage lineup almost. I'm walking back first play. Oh my God, where are you going? I'm creating crazy space against these guys. We're up nine to six. Spin back, dot in the corner. You already know what color that is. I'm playing with two goats here. They not gonna miss. They not gonna miss. Look at me, open three. Who you guarding? Come get my three. I want threes. I'm not one of those six nines that just rim runs every play. I like to get threes, okay? Look at, oh my God, are we shooting over those from half court? I mean, I'm flopping on it. It's getting bad. Even Verda was getting in the action with a little walk back three right there and we win and move, we're moving on to floor number three. We're getting back there. We're getting back to floor four. And then hopefully we can streak on floor four for the rest of the event. As you can see, we get into another game right here. We get an inbound steal to start. You see him dot me. That's an easy three. I mean, I, I think their teammate was about to quit right here because he saw that he was playing three sweats. I got takeover. We're running to the left. That's a fade. That's a green. I mean, I'm cooking up in this event. Like, I don't know what it is about me playing with randoms. You see me getting the steal right there, but I like playing with randoms in this game. Oh, my self lob. Oh, I'm doing them dirty. I'm doing them so dirty right now. I'm really locked in. You see the boxing gloves. We get into level 17. But anyways, I don't know what it is about playing with randoms, but I just like playing with randoms. It's like a challenge. I don't know if I'm going to win, but I try to carry. I try to play a role. I try to play good, and it just ends up being fun. But look at this. We're playing multiple goat tiers. I mean, this dude has a higher three-point percentage than me. That's hard to find. I barely ever see that, you know, because I shoot 67%. That's pretty high for next gen. We get a fadeaway three right here to get our lead up to four, 12 to eight. Now, this is floor four. I get another three step back right there, 19 to 14. So we win this game. We're back on floor four. And oh my God, where are you going? Oh my, disrespectful. That's all I got to say about it. Another rep up, another game. And now we are back to floor four. So it's time to streak on floor four. Okay, now the time that we weren't on floor four was about 30 minutes. So if we keep streaking out here, we'll be on floor four for an hour and a half out of the two hours of the event, which is pretty solid. Now you see we're playing this guy right here. And as soon as he hit that three, I was like, okay, I did not expect that. I knew that me and this helmet guy were about to go head to head. And look at me. I hit the spin back on him too. Three to three. I knew we were about to have like a little duel off. I get the steal right here. He's a goat tier as well. We're both goat tiers. We're both like on six, nine demigods. We're both pretty good at the game, it seems, after the first couple possessions. So I'm like, okay, we're about to go head to head against this guy. Who's going to be able to play point guard better for their team? I got a dunk right there after getting a steal. Five to three. We got a two point lead. I'm trying to play defense. He gets a nice rim run right there, ties up the game again. And we kind of go back and forth with a couple rim runs after I miss a shot. And then I get a step back three. That's great. Respect my shot. You know, I ain't going to miss often. Okay. And when I do, I'm not missing back to back, hopefully. Okay. Seven, eight. He had a good shot right there, but I'm playing good defense. I'm kind of playing with him and we get, oh, I thought I got the chase down block right there. 12, 11. He's got takeover. We're up one. He's clearly trying to fade. He gets an open fade kind of, but misses it. 12, 11. I'm going to take it slow. I need every possession I can get. Get the easy dunk. That gives us a three point lead, but he's got shot take. 
Ghost rubs the dunk, and I get the clutch block. So that's a clutch steal and a clutch block I got the, on this dude's ice. So 17-11, and look at this dude. He cooks me on this play. I mean, I don't know where he got this out of his bag of tricks, but he turned into his inner Steezo in a second here. You see, we had him boxed right there. Actually, I think that's a different... Is that this game? I'm not sure. 17-11. We go ahead, get the easy dunk. Now it's 19-11. So we're up eight. I'm like, yo, we go like crazy. But look at this dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, I'll admit it. Okay. I'm going to show the, that clip in the video too. I mean, he cooked me right there. Bro, bro got in his inner Steezo or something. I was not expecting that move at all. He pulled it out of his trick of bags. I don't know where he pulled that out of, but I didn't see that old game until that play. But we end up winning anyways. So we're still on floor four and obviously on floor four we're playing some good teams like that guard that we just had beat 17 to 17 it's clutch time now i gotta come up big for my team i had an open shot right there i didn't take it i'm kind of choking right now three seconds end up hitting my team out right now it's not looking good he fades it i'm trying to get the rebound i get the rebound i mean this build was getting so many clutch rebounds throughout this event i dot the corner he shoots that i got floors on run. i got dime run we're chilling 20 to 19 game point and i get the easy dunk to secure us the win that one was a close call that is for sure close call on that one now we're on a six game win streak and we just going crazy we simply locked in right now. I'm not trying to lose. We plan another GOAT tier right here with some other 6'9 demigods. You see me open on the catch and shoot. You already know what color that is, okay? Stop playing with me. We got a takeover. We're down 16 to 12, fading three. You know that's my body. I'm going to get us back in this game. 16, 15, 18 to 15 now. I end up just taking the easy two. I wanted to be safe with it. Could have got a three, but it's okay. 18 to 17. I'm trusting my defense. Look at me. Get another clutch steal. Okay. I'm coming up clutch for my team. I'm getting back court, making it safe, making sure we get the possession. We need this possession. And oh my God. Where are you going? Fade on the top of the key. You know what color it is. 20 to 18. We got to stop. I got the ball again. I'm cooking up. We went from 16 to 12 to the score it is right now. I'm trying to game it right now. We get the easy dunk. Get off my court. I got our team at W. I clutched up. I locked in. And boom, just like that, the event has ended. We ended up getting our rewards for streaking on that top floor the whole time. You see, we got the gloves now. We got the shorts. I even went from level 11 to 26 and just playing like two of these events. If we played all weekend long, definitely would have hit level 40. If you want to watch me win some other events, click on one of the videos on your screen. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.